uh, it gives me great pleasure to conclude the 17th Fiki Higher Education Summit. Uh, this has been a wonderful two days of academic treat to all of us. Uh, we must thank uh, Rajesh Pankaj. I forgot to thank him at the inaugural session, but it is his hard work. He and his team have really put up a wonderful, uh, I would say, performance. For him, it is a performance. Getting uh, you know these many people together, that two academia together on you know for two days sitting here and listening to all the panel discussions. Rajesh, you've done a fantastic uh, job. I would also like to thank my co-chairs, Sauvik and Ravi. Again, two people who would otherwise not come out of their universities and spend two and a half full days here. So thank you so much, uh, and uh, our advisor Rajan Saxena, who's always been there for all of us. He's like a wise old man. I shouldn't call you old, not by age, but by your wisdom. Uh, I must say he's been a great uh, believer of optimism and every time we wondered how would this Fiki Higher Education Summit go and you know the topics that we discussed and deliberated I must thank Rajan for all this but more importantly I think uh, it's the audience uh, which was wonderful uh, the two days uh, it was a very very interactive sessions and I think we covered almost a whole gamut of uh, higher education um, my only request to all of us here on the dais and some of you who are here in the audience today is is that let it not just be resting, you know, something in our minds that we listened to and discussed and deliberated, but let us also chalk out an action plan, uh, a, a white paper that we can really give to the Government of India, the Ministry of Education, UGC. Uh, and uh, sometimes you wonder what happens to these uh, papers that we give, but when the national education policy was rolled out, I think all of us were pleasantly surprised to see uh, many of our discussions and deliberations being converted into the the white paper uh, that came out in the national education policy. So we kind of took the credit every time we gave speeches here and there to say that oh this was something that we discussed with Dr. Kasturi Rangan. This was something that we discussed internally and gave this paper to Ministry of Education. But I'm sure you know such discussions and deliberations don't go waste. So uh, with this I also thank the audience, the, the support team, uh, all the volunteers who worked hard and uh, the exhibition was also put up so well. And of course was our Indian and foreign delegates who came in large numbers. Uh, it's something, uh, you know, it feels very nice to have the freedom to travel across continents and to attend academic conferences. Uh, I'm sure uh, each one of you has enjoyed this. So I think I would just conclude and say that, uh, you know, we're looking forward to what the next year is going to bring to us, another, uh, you know, FIKI conference that we will have in November or December of 2024. And in February or March, we will also have another conference, uh, which will be focused on industry academia partnerships. So thank you very much and over to you, my colleagues. Thank you. I think a big round of applause to our chair because uh, she's been there right through the process. And uh, she's guided most, uh, she's guided us on all the parameters, the, the whatever we do in Fiki, it's always been a great teamwork and, and it's always nice to work with you, Vidya. So thank you so much. I, I thought I, I said enough in the last session, but uh, no, this is a, a definitely a great opportunity to thank all the people. You know, it, it's uh, the audience is very important. You, you can't uh, teach well if the class is not participating. It's it, it is a motivating force, and uh, so I think uh, I enjoyed. Uh, you know, there are six panels that I, I uh, loved listening to. There's so much learning. I took notes, and uh, I hope, uh, like I said, I hope, uh, like Vidya said. Uh, uh, some of these is, is gets uh, captured in a, a good document and it reaches the corridors of power. I mean, that's very important and Fiki does that very well. It has been doing it. That's a, that's a wonderful opportunity that me as an individual, I have got access to this. Otherwise, I won't be able to uh, talk to you guys. So uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. It's a tremendous amount of hard work by, by many people. Uh, I can't thank Rajesh enough and Vida enough and, and Ravi enough. Uh, Professor Rajan Saxena at this, you know, he's, he's so 
senior. He, the other day he mentioned how many years senior he is to me. I won't tell you the number. But, uh, but this is amazing, the kind of energy and, and enthusiasm that he reflects. So uh, again, wonderful opportunity. Uh, we hope to see you all next time. Before I give it to Rajan, because uh, no, I think I just wanted to kind of sum up to say that look, uh, uh, you know, we have to be solution based. I mean, we are an action. I'm an action oriented person. Discussions can happen, but they, we have like what we've been doing in the past. Clear, simple solutions is what all the panels today and yesterday. Uh, I think this, the key takeaway for me is if you do simple things and do do them right first time we will get it. There are opportunities. This is the right time to do it. And I really think that the buck stops here. The buck stops with all of us, all of us here. So I think, thank you everybody. Thanks to the audience. Thanks to Fiki to provide such a platform for such discussions and open dialogue. Thank you. It was a wonderful uh, two days that we have all spent together in this higher education summit. I'm sure that each one of you would agree that almost every session had uh, given to us a lot, lot of ideas. And if we are able to take some of them back in our own institution, I have no doubt in my mind that you are yourself going to feel or you're going to, yourself going to see the change back in your own institutions itself. Any change to happen has to begin in a very, very small manner. And if you're able to do, for, from any one of these sessions, you're able to pick up any one small little thing and start putting that in, in your own institution, is going to give you a lot of results. All these summits that we have seen in higher education is an outcome of the leadership. The way they visualize, the chair visualizes it, the co-chairs visualize it, imagine it, and then put it through. Rajesh, the executive team, is there to really put everything there and take it forward. But I just shudder at the thought that if we did not have such kind of leaders like Vidya over here in the, at the chair and the co-chairs like Shavik and Ravi, I think it's going to be a more difficult task. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking both the chair and the co-chairs by giving a, and also Rajesh Pankaj and his entire team that has really put together this entire conference itself. I know the constraints that were there at this point of time. We were doing it in a much shorter time period than what we would have done. But I think one of the biggest lessons that we are taking forward is to start early when we, when we look for our next year's conference itself. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And, and before I really conclude, I completely agree with what the chair said, that we are not going to leave the thought process here only and the various kind of sessions and the topics that we have discussed we are going to be coming up with a white white paper we are going to create that Fiki is going to create that kind of a white paper the higher education committee is going to do that and we are going to take it to all those policy makers and to all those who really matter in the policy making so that if the change is required in the policy making that can happen and and at the same time take it back to the all the stakeholders in higher education and bring about the or bring a greater degree of an attention to those knowledge papers and if we are able to do so i think we'll be able to really achieve much better kind of results. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so, uh, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, I just kind of uh, would want to, you know, at the outset, uh, thank the leadership. Uh, uh, FIKI higher education uh, uh, leadership that we have. Of course, we have 76 sectors in FIKI and every sector would have 
chairs, co-chairs and advisors, but uh, without an iota of flattery I would want to and without an iota of exaggeration I would want to humbly submit that this leadership has really kind of steered uh, this committee uh, very well. Uh, Dr. Vidya, of course, uh, not just for this conference that we do, but, uh, you know, there. so Fiki, uh, you know, we do round the year work. <coughs> There's so many things that we do which emanates from the discussions that we had in this, over these two days, which then becomes a part of our work that we do around the year and then there's so many things that we would otherwise do around the year which then culminates into this conference. <coughs> so it's a it's an ongoing process because Fiki conventionally, traditionally, classically uh, is an organization that believes in advocacy, is an organization that believes in pushing the reform agenda forward and this conference is just one of it in fact and it started off as a conference way back in 20, 2004, uh, it's been 17, 18 years now and uh, it's now become a forum of serious policy deliberation, a forum where serious uh, you know, exchange of serious ideas, cases, best practices take place. So it's evolved and this journey that FIKI Higher Education Committee has traversed over the years is something that's uh, that's worth, you know, uh, feeling uh, proud about. In fact, and going forward, in fact, uh, you know, over these two days I met quite a few of, quite a few uh, thought leaders, speakers, you know, who've been kind of participating over several years and they've kind of seen this, you know, whole product evolve. And one of the things that I found was, which was being discussed and shared by uh, such thought leaders, and by the way, these thought leaders are ones who at some point in time were at the helm uh, at the level of policy making and they have now superannuated and still feel connected with it and I found them mentioning that let's create a, a parallel strand you know for this conference so there are certain takeaways USPs uh, that this conference this product has which of course should continue and only with time it should augment not just continue but also augment but there are certain other things that we could then get into which should be fairly disruptive in nature which would be contemporaneous in nature so how do we create this framework within this conference where you have two or three strands operating simultaneously so that's something that we, is a food for thought which we would going forward would want to work upon and something which Dr. Vidya then mentioned that this conference has now become a conference where a lot of academic leaders from across the globe come up and discuss and exchange ideas and maybe look at forging partnerships but industry I mean nothing without industry I mean education without industry is absolutely nothing I mean we talked about research partnerships a while back so therefore given the conspicuousness of industry within the space of higher education so we thought that we'll also create another product something that we started off with last year. So, you know, uh, higher education, industry academia, connect, and then looking at you know, various facets and nuances of higher industry academia engagement, and going forward, we'll see how that, that whole thing evolves. So, in a nutshell, uh, this higher education, uh, you know, committee that we've created, or forum that we've created, is a forum where we would want to have a lot of ideas coming in from various stakeholders, and you being the key stakeholders is something that we'd want to, you know, have from you, and going forward, we want to evolve step by step. And I, I also would want to highlight that we feel very excited excited, enthused, enticed, you know, uh, because uh, over the last several years, Government of India now has started looking at, you know, recommendations from FIKI and FIKI-like organizations in a big way. I mean, that was perhaps not the case during yesteryears, but this is something that has excited all of us, therefore we feel all the more responsible, excited, enthused to work around it, get the primary insights from stakeholders, people who are running institutions, and then that becomes a policy which gets feeded into the policy space of government. So that's also another area that we kind of very importantly look at and going forward we want to only expand with that in fact uh, I, would, I would i would be wrong if i would not want to kind of you know extend the support because organizing a conference this was fairly short a notice for this year in fact for various reasons and i i i, I just can't tell you in words how the kind of support that i kind of got from a team members and colleagues I and mean, they all came together and walked towards so atul you know nikita priyanka deepthi amit himani malika Shukriti, Sakshi, Harshita, you know, Sahiba, Sunil, Jagat, they all came together and they worked towards it you know, in a big way in making this conference a huge success. And last but not the least, I'll quickly run past the name of the sponsors, you know, the partners who've supported us because of course, around the, and of course you have the list out there. So I'll still kind of, you know, for the, for the because I thought that we'll kind of read out so the conventional practice, I'll just quickly read them out. So we had the support of Ken42, Manipal Global, Education Symbiosis, of course, International University over the last several years they've been supporting us, Pandit Dindal Energy University, Satya Bhama, JK Lakshmipat University, Taiwan Education Center in India, GD Goenka University, Sir Padampat Singhania University, EY Parthenon, again another partner that we've had over years, BML Munjal, Kolpol, Ajinkya, DY Patil University, Manav Rachna, Wiley, Gale India, Pitts Pilani, Etsil, and Coursera. Thank you all for supporting this conference. Look forward to seeing you all in 2023. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.
And ladies and gentlemen, as we have come to the end of this successful 17th Fiki Higher Education Summit, may I invite the complete team, Ms. Priyanka, Ms. Depti, everybody else on the stage for a group photograph so we all can put our hands together for them for all this hard work that they've put in over the last few days or months or weeks. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I once again take this opportunity to thank all our eminent speakers, our eminent panelists, and above all, we thank all the participants for making this event a huge success with your participating in this event over the last two days. We thank you, each one of you. And let's put our hands together for each one of us for making this event a success that it was. And ladies and gentlemen, let's once put our hands together for the complete team here who put up such a successful show for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, with that we close the proceedings of the 17th Fiki Higher Education Summit 2022. Looking forward to seeing all of you in the next edition. And we have arranged for high school. Do not forget about the feedback forms. They are very, very important for us in improving our performance in the upcoming editions of the summit. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, closing the proceedings. Have a wonderful evening ahead, safe drive home, good evening and namaskar.